It'll take you back about a year ago at that point in time when I realized that that book wasn't going to be a book, but it was going to be a record, and it started making all kinds of turns and twists as life does. I wrote this song uh, parked in front of the music farm in Charleston, South Carolina on what Gillian Wells likes to refer to as Ruination Day last year, April 14th. And I had a lot on my mind that day. I think I'd probably just talk to my mom and things wasn't going too good at home with my great uncle. I was uh, raised by my grandmother and my great uncle a whole lot of my childhood. and. Uh, they were depression era folk. They grew up when my, my great uncle George A. Johnson, George Albert Johnson, was born when President Wilson was in the White House. And he lived through the, the Great Depression and then World War II broke out and he ended up at Iwo Jima. And then he drove trucks for 26 years. And he spent every weekend taking me to movies and Disney World. And, doing really cool shit. And then we'd ride that Greyhound bus back to Cincinnati, Ohio to pick up the next load for International Harvester. And, uh, and I wrote this song knowing that George A. was about to be leaving us. He was about to be 91 and he just wasn't doing good. He was slipping and he was falling as the people you love do if they live long enough. And then I recorded this song in the early fall and then George A. passed away around a few days before Halloween, just like both of his siblings. All three of them died the week of Halloween. And I went home for the memorial service between tours and I'm standing out there in the homestead, the house that he was born in. He was born in the living room. And he lived there until he was 88. And the house has fallen in, it's in disrepair, it's not gonna last long. The people in the family that got it, you know, it's, they've got other things, they've got their own lives to live and it's just not gonna last much longer. And I'm watching my kids running around and playing in the ruins where I used to eat watermelon as a kid. And I wrote, and I thought, man, I watched the song come to life. It's called Heat Lightning rumbles in the distance. And I played it for my sister, and she informed me that heat lightning doesn't rumble. Oh, 
Just let us good at the show. Looking for comfort in the knowing. 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 between anguish and acceptance.